Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for being on my latest Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can add and use gradients in your material color editor. This process is simple and straightforward and it functions in my view on a level of a bug, but for some reason it does work and you can employ it in your own materials. Now we are going to show you, I'm going to show you that by simply right clicking and creating a new material that I'm going to call very creatively gradient and I'm going to double click on it to get the editor. Now we're going to modify or use the base color but first of all we're going to create a constant tree vector by again right clicking and choosing constant tree vector that we're going to connect to the base color. Now, by double clicking on the constant tree vector, we have that color picker, color editor here that you can use in a bunch of different ways. But what we're interested in is red, green, blue. Right now, they're all on zero and you can scale them up all the way to one. As you can see, that things are changing, but still there is no gradient. We get only kind of a constant compact color. We want to add that gradient. To do that, we're going to change all of these values to one, to their maximum. And then we're going to change the first one to 100. And the color gradient is here, as you can see, and we can change it by sliding it across the periphery of the color picker and choosing a color like this. As you can see, the new color has a gradient in it and by simply picking it and then saving it. Of course, Unreal Engine takes a few moments to kind of adapt and upload the preview, which is going to get here its representation in the preview window. It's not fast. Also, to be honest, my computer isn't actually state of the art. But here we have the same color with the gradient. From here on out, we can simply apply it to anything we'd like as we would do with any other color. So if I add a cube here and extrude it, place it, I'm going to save this, all of this as well. Again, save all and then apply it. Then try the game we have the same object right here with the gradient color. Now, it's weird and <laughs> works in a strange manner, but in any case, it's definitely functional and that's how you get your gradient in Unreal Engine. This was all that I wanted to show you. The whole setup, the whole tutorial is really simple, really easy to use, really weird again in my view, but hopefully you found it useful. If you did, there is a bunch of ways how you can support this channel that is designed to help beginners like you and me get their bearing in Unreal Engine. First of all, the easiest way is to simply like and subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and all of that stuff. But there is also a bunch of other ways, including my patron page. I just rebranded my Patreon page, which was so far all about my podcast, I am gaming podcast, but now includes both my Unreal Engine beginner tutorial videos and my podcast episodes. If you have a buck or two to spare per month, please consider leaving that buck or two for me because it will go to good things like probably buying a new computer pretty soon and switching to Unreal Engine 5, which I need to do because this is still Unreal Engine 4. Even though a lot of stuff, basically all of the stuff functions in the same manner, it's really time to move to the number five version and your money could help with that. So consider supporting you on Patreon. You don't need to leave a lot of money. Any money would be more than enough. That's all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. Hopefully I'll see you on my new Unreal Beginner Engine tutorial video. <laughs> and. Have a great week and also have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Till my next video, bye bye.